And that's how a lot of businesses start, where you have this great idea, you've been working, you've been hustling, you've been working at night, you're self-funding, you're doing all these things, but how do I take things to the next step? And what I said to him was, okay, so Kickstarter's successful and we've raised the money that we need and we could put in the first order. We now need to you know, ensure that we start to set up our own um, selling channels, whether that's through Amazon stores or us building a Shopify site or doing WooCommerce or whatever it is, but we need to build our own place where people can come and buy, but now no one knows us. So now we need to build awareness. We need to start to um, build a category because that doesn't exist. We need to start to build up sales in such a way that our, our successful Kickstarter campaign, we can glean a little bit of money from this and use it to then set up a proper selling channel, advertising channel, and then as we right-size that, we're able to take those profits and reinvest them into more marketing and more marketing and more marketing. And then now, you know, let's flash forward six months, nine months, a year later, you know, we've now sold 10 or 30 or 50,000 units. We've now generated a certain number of, amount of revenue. We now know our cost of acquisition, lifetime value of client. Great, now we're in a position to go after retail. You know, what I said to him was, okay, so let's flash forward, it's one year from now. We have built the Kickstarter campaign and we've been successful. We've taken part of that money and obviously fulfilled all of the orders. We've worked on PR and community management so people are happy and they're receiving the product and it's working. Great, now we need to mine that for positive reviews. Now we need to be able to build an online e-commerce store to start selling and now we need to build an advertising campaign to start driving traffic to it and awareness to it. Great. So. Here we sit a year later and we've done all of these things and now the business is ready to go to the next level. It's gonna take a full year to be able to work through all of these things, to be able to take, to invest properly, to be able to take the learnings, ensure that the price point is right, um, do the campaigns that we need to do so that way next year, so now we're into 2020, we can start looking at you know, really targeting email marketing campaigns, starting to build really targeted look-alike audiences, being able to grow marketing from, you know, the ten or fifty thousand dollars that he might have in year one to the hundreds of thousands of dollars that he's going to spend in the future, because that's how you grow and scale a business. This whole future is predicated on us being successful, but it's not only that. The very first thing that we release into the world will shape the entire tone, the entire brand. It'll shape the perception. It'll shape how people perceive what this brand is, what it stands for, and whether it is credible or not. And so there's a tremendous amount of weight on our shoulders, um, and we have a lot of control over the success or failure of the clients, and that's why I worry for people like him, because I know how hard it is, and I know how much effort we take, and I know even with the effort and care and experience and time and everything we pour into it, it still sometimes doesn't work. Like, think about all the things that can go wrong and how much a client trusts someone in our position. And that's why I worry about people working with other companies. But as soon as the campaign launches, we have a window to make the campaign successful. And not only that, the first few days of the campaign are extremely important. And then, and then every day that goes by, we are burning through opportunity. And then let's say the campaign is successful. Now the clock starts on fulfilling those things um, and being able to do so for uh, as cost-effectively as possible to save as much room so we can reinvest those dollars. Now we've been successful and we built up some PR, so now the clock starts for not only fulfilling those things, but getting the e-commerce into market, so that way we don't lose momentum on uh, the successful campaign. And as soon as that e-commerce is in, is in market and we start our advertising campaign, the new clock starts, because now every day we're spending money. Every day we're spending money. And if three days go by without a sale, we have to make up those three days of advertising, and, and, and so you can start to get behind, right? If you're selling from day one, and you've right-sized, and, and it's at least paid for itself, marketing is super easy. But if it takes you three days to figure something out, you've just, in, you now on the fourth day have to make up for those three days. And on the seventh day, you have to make up for the previous six days. Every day you're burning through cash and burning through cash and burning through cash, and suddenly the hole starts to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So you can say, well, that's opportunity cost and, or it's sunken cost and I'm going to ignore it. But the truth is at the end of the day, you only have so much money to spend. You have to spend that in appropriate places. As soon as that campaign launches, it starts clicking off all of these milestones that we have to hit in succession as quickly as possible. And when we start advertising, now it starts to get really expensive. Think if you're spending a thousand dollars a day, let's say on, on advertising and you spend four days not breaking even, you might have to make up, 
know, 600, 800, a thousand dollar hole, right? If by the end of the month you have to make up a four thousand dollar hole, and you're selling units for twenty five dollars a unit, or thirty dollars a unit, or whatever it is, it starts to get away from you really quick. You can't do that, but you can also take. You can also move too slowly. You, yeah, you can start a campaign on twenty dollars a day. Um, and you can start micro-testing and of course you start micro-testing and you test all these different audiences and then you blow it up from there but um, But if you start too small and you're not aggressive enough You're now burning through time and that's that's opportunity cost and now he has these units sitting in his warehouse He's already paid for them out of pocket, right? The operational machine is burning through cash if you move too slowly So you got to get that balance, right? That's when you move from all these day zeros to now We better make things happen <laughs> What stage are you guys in right now? Um, we haven't done anything. <laughs> what stage are we in right now? Yeah. We haven't done anything. If growing and scaling your business by being better at sales and better at marketing, better at customer experience is important to you, be sure to check out this video right over here. And like always, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell icon, and get each video every day when it drops.